Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying our Spark interview question series. Please subscribe to our channel and share the videos with your friend. As part of our Spark interview question series, I'm back with one more topic. So today's topic is uh, window functions. So how do they work? First of all, let us try to understand that uh, why do we need window functions? So Spark in Spark you might have already used two kind of functions. One are aggregation functions like max or average or uh, uh, min so these functions work work on group of rows so they take information from group of rows and generate a single value out of it or you might have seen UDF kind of functions uh, where uh, you know suppose let's take an example like uh, uppercase so you want to convert one uh, uh, you know one rows uh, some text value to uppercase you use UDFs. So ev for every input row, there is one output row. So there could be a scenario where you want to use group of rows, but you want to generate one value for every row. So in our previous two examples, if you are using aggregate functions, you will be generating only one value uh, for group of rows. So here in our new requirement, we want one value for every row but we want to use some other set of rows in the same data set to calculate that rows value so in that situation windows function is very useful uh, one example of that scenario is uh, if you want to find out if you have a data set of uh, employee department information and salary information and you want to find out uh, salary between a dif a difference between the salary of a current employee current row and uh, the maximum salary in the department so in that scenarios you will like to use windows function so windows functions can be of three types they can be ranking functions so people who are from data warehouse background they might have already used rank dense rank and tile and percentile functions those are called ranking function and analytical functions like commutative uh, distribution lag lead all these are analytical function and you can also use aggregate functions with windows function let us try to understand this thing by example let us understand windows function by an example so here i'm just creating a schema for a table which is having three columns department column employee column and salary column let us run it schema is created now I am creating some sample data for our learning for this particular exercise ok so our sample data is ready ok now I am registering a temp table in uh, so that I can run a SQL query using SQL context Okay, so this is this is how you know. Let me first elaborate on our problem statement. So I have a table. In that table, I have some data, which is about employee employees from different departments and their salaries. So I want to find out for every employee uh, what is the difference between the salary of that employee and the maximum salary in that department that's what I want to find out if I want to solve this problem using without using Windows function this is how I will do it so I will find out for every department the maximum salary and then I will do a join on our table and do difference between max salary and salary so this is how I will write query I, w I have to do a join to get my results let's let us run it and see <coughs> cool so I got my results now if I use windows function the query becomes very simple I just have to say that I want to partition my table on the different values of department and for every partition I want maximum salary and current row salary I want to subtract from it and I want to see 
the salary difference so that's what I say and my results are exactly same as the previous query cool so uh, people generally when they learn Windows function they find it find the syntax a bit tedious but it's very simple so once you get hang of it, it it's very convenient and simple to use so it can avoid you to write very complex queries so here the example that we took was very simple uh, there could be scenarios where your query becomes very complex and in that scenarios you should definitely use windows function it will give you your it will make your code very easy to read and it it will it is very convenient to use so we can use sparks uh, uh, you know scala apis to uh, do window function kind of queries so this is how we can do uh, we have to import some classes cool our classes are imported then we have to define our window so here i'm saying my window is partitioned by department column and I'm ordering my records within the department column by salary so this is not a uh, this is a step that we didn't do in our query so you can skip this also this is not mandatory I just written here uh, to show that I can do multiple operations on uh, on my window so let us run it okay so once I have my windows description I can say that uh, uh, I want maximum salary over that window the salary description we have defined earlier I want maximum salary over that window and I want to delete I want to subtract uh, salary of my current row so that's what is the expression that I have defined here let us run it And then I can just see the results. Cool. So we got the results with this thing also. So guys, uh, I'll share this code on GitHub. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please post it in our comment section. Please share and subscribe. Uh, share our channel and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.